We're introducing the PM1 initially, our handheld perimeter for show. We're also introducing our AX1 action meter for myopia control. So we're seeing at the moment in optometry for many measurements, you need to touch the eye to make a measurement or there's no convenient compact handheld way of characterizing somebody's eye. And that's what our systems give us. It's a compact handheld device. You make a number of measurements on the eye. Pachymetry first of all, but actual length second. And actual length is really important because of myopia control now. Measuring the actual length of the eye in a convenient fashion is really key. And most machines are very large and cumbersome. Our handheld device is portable, can be used in a convenient fashion in, in practice, or even take it out into the field for measuring schools, domiciliary care, or other places like that. So this is our new PM1. It's a handheld non-contact pachymeter. So it measures the corneal thickness, but it does so with an optical system. We don't need to touch the eye. It's got a confocal scan, which creates a very small focus of light that scans through the eye. You get a reflection from each surface that tells you how thick the cornea is. And the advantage is being optical, it's non-contacting. It sits an inch or so from the eye. Now to make it work, turn it on the button on the side, then it's ready to use. And when it's done, it's boot up routine. Prime it to make a measurement and hold it up to the eye. So I'll measure Michael's eye. So all I need to do is you see the white reflection from the, the cornea. I line it up with the red circle. When it's lined up, that will turn green. and then gives you the result. In that case, they're 544 micrometers thick. The other big advantage is being non-contact, you could have a, a front office member of staff doing this rather than the highly trained clinician doing it. So it's a very, very fast, very convenient measurement. So the actual length meter for the X1, that's due to come to market uh, about summer 2024, about a year or so away from where we are now. And the first mission will be working towards the end of this year, but then regulatory clinical trials will take around six, six to nine months from there. So we finished clinical trials of the PM1, uh, we submitted for CE marking, and it should be ready early summer.